newly downloaded data from TransAsia Flight 235's recorders reveal problems started almost immediately after takeoff. Clear for takeoff. 37 seconds into the flight, alarm sound. Engine 2 is having a problem, but it appears pilots reduced power to engine 1 and eventually shut it off. By now, engine 2 has failed. For 1 minute and 6 seconds, there's nothing powering the plane. Five stall alarm sound. Then, an emergency call from the cockpit. Mayday, mayday, engines are melting. Speed alerts warn the plane is going too slow. The crew tries to restart the engine, but it's too late. Nearly two minutes after the first warning alarm, the plane crashes into a river. Once they shut the left engine down, um, when that wasn't the engine with the problem, the flight was doomed because they just didn't have enough altitude and time to really restart. The aircraft could have flown on just one engine. The question now is whether pilot error contributed to the crash. Pilots have switched off the wrong engine before. If this happens more than people might realize. I mean, I know of at least 15 crashes killing at uh, 185 people where the pilots shut off the wrong engine. Investigators are still trying to determine if pilots of TransAsia Flight 235 shut off the engine mistakenly or if it was due to a mechanical issue. The mother of one of the pilots defended her son's actions. <laughs> My son's life was exchanged for the lives of many others. This is worthwhile. Even though my heart is broken, I am proud to have such a son. What he did was the right thing. More than 30 people died and more than a dozen survived. The search for missing bodies continues.